everyone and welcome to day 21 of my Christmas card series for this year. Today I don't have a card for you but I have some cute little gift tags. I wanted to create these for my students at school to go on top of their little goodies I'm going to give them uh, at the end of the week. So I'm using this stamp set from Lawn Fawn. It's called Winter Narwhal. I'm using the Have a Gnarly and then I wanted to use Christmas so I'm using that from the Yeti or Not stamp set. So all I did was is I took some Nina cardstock and I used my MFT A2 Stitch Stacks Dynamics to cut out some rectangular panels. Like I said, I'm using Nina for the white and I'm using Simon Says Schoolhouse Red for the red piece. And all I'm going to do is I'm just lining up my image on top of my white card stock here and I'm going to just do some mass stamping on these. I created 13 altogether. I'm only going to be showing the creation of one completely and then I will show all 13 at the end. I'm also going to be using the Lawn Fawn Tiny Tag Sayings to create the little sentiment on the back of the tag. So here I have my Misty tool. This is going to come in really handy because I am doing mass production. So once I get my images placed exactly where I want them, I can swing over the Misty door, pick up those stamps, and I can do repeated stamping over and over again in the same spot. So that's what I did here. I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink because I'm going to be using my Copics on this today. It's really simple Copic coloring, just a little bit of blending. I'm only using about three different color shades. And I really liked how this little narwhal turned out whenever Lawn Fawn released him in their winter set, uh, their winter release this year. I just had to have him. I thought he was so cute. So there I have them all stamped out. I'm going to get into the coloring and when I'm all done, we'll come back and finish up together. All the coloring is completed I took a secure glaze pen and added detail to his little eyes to make them pop off the page and then I'm taking my wink of Stella glitter brush pen and adding some shimmer to his little horn or his tusk and to his little scarf I colored all 13 of the narwhals exactly the same so I didn't want to have to show you guys all of the coloring because it was all the same now that that's all done we're going to work on the back panel what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip all of them over and I'm going to do some heat embossing on the back. I am using, again, the Lawn Fawn Tiny Tags Sayings and I'm using the To and From with the line and I'm also going to be using the sentiment that says a little something for you. My plan is to attach these kind of 
I thought about putting a little hole in the top um, so I could use some some twine and attach it that way but I haven't really decided how I'm going to attach these yet um, I just wanted to get them all created so I'm using some VersaFine ink as long as well as excuse me my Bruce Monroe alabaster embossing powder I'm gonna get that all ready to go get the heat gun out and warmed up this didn't take very long once I had the heat gun really warm it melted super quick and I got through these a lot quicker than I thought I would. Um, it took me, I'm going to say two days. The only reason I say it took me two days is because I got through coloring most of them and then I stopped, you know, to go, you know, help my family with things and, you know, I just kind of left it and got back to it the next day. You could easily have gotten all of these done in one day um, without any problem. Got them all assembled, colored. Again, it didn't take me very long to get them colored. I just, I took me personally two days to do them because I had other things going on. But in the end, like I said, it didn't take very long and I really enjoy the way these turned out. So I got that all heated up and brushed away all that excess powder. <clears throat> and now I can get this assembled and add a little bit more detail to it. So it's not such a plain uh, little tag here. So I'm just using my Mo Tombow Mono Multi Glue to attach these. I didn't want to add any dimension to them. Not with the cardstock. I am going to add some dimension using some Nuvo crystal drops. But first I wanted to make sure he was nice and glued down so I just put an acrylic block over top just to make sure that um, the glue had a chance to really set. And once I had that all done I'm going to go in and add a little bit of detail to the narwhal himself. So what I decided to do is I wanted to add a little bit of detail to his horn or again his tusk because with narwhal they're actually it's actually a tusk. It's not a horn, it's a large tooth that comes out of their head. Sorry about that. I'm a nature freak, so I watch all this kind of stuff. So anyway, besides the point, I took some Ranger glossy accents and I added some detail to his little horn here. And then I'm going along with some Nouveau Crystal Drops in green and autumn red. And I'm going to go around and just add a little bit of those around the outside of the image. Just to give it a little bit of something else. Kind of brighten it up a little bit more. I wanted to kind of tone down all the red that was there with adding some of the green Nouveau Drops in. I was really excited to get these ones started. Um, our classes are having a Christmas meal at the end of the week, so I wanted to make sure that I had these all completed and ready to go for Friday. And I can't believe we're on day 21. We've only got a couple of days left. I'm super thrilled to show you what I've got left. They're my favorites coming up. So here's all 13, all colored and assembled, ready to go. All I have left to do is add the Nouveau and the glossy accents to each of them. So I'm going to speed through each one of these really quickly with you and that finishes up these little gift tags with you today. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who's come by and supported my channel and has supplied some wonderful comments and support. This has been a really big milestone for me with my crafting and with my card making. I've been making cards for probably about four years now, but actually putting them on YouTube for everyone else to enjoy was a really big step for me, and it's really helped me come out of my shell and be really creative and you know get to know some new folks around the world, and I'm surprised by who's all come uh, to my channel. So again, I just want to say thank you. I'm super excited for the holidays coming up. We've got family coming in. It's getting so close. My older boys have got a birthday next week, so it's going to be a fantastic couple of days in the next couple of weeks. I really can't wait, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the little notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos, and I will see you again here real soon. Bye!